Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I am T. You guys, I gotta have to give you guys these updates. This is an update on everything. I'm trying to give you guys everything that is going on on my mini homestead. So right here is a beautiful hosta. This is a gigantic hosta here. It has been putting out babies. Um, I probably next year is going to thin them, but you guys can see it is thick. All right, here is my cherry tree. You guys, it might not do great this season because the cold really took a number on it. And you guys, it still haven't quite just bounced back quite just yet. We have the black tartarian. We have here the Stella cherry. We have the Lepison. And we have here the um, Montmorency cherry. And as well, I think, let's see, I think that's it. Yes. So we have our cherry tree. This is a Frankenstein cherry tree. Um, I'm hoping that my baby will bounce back, but so far it doesn't look as great, okay? Okay, so down here we actually have here Black Beauty eggplant that's wedged right here. Some more hostas. Uh, another uh, eggplant that is here. These are some daffodils. You see between here, my tulips have went in, which is good. So once they start to die back a little bit, then I'll start going ahead and cutting them, cutting them down. So all that energy can go back into the bulb for next season. Uh, another eggplant you see down here and around here is the purple heart is emerging, um, which is a beautiful plant as well. Very thick, very beautiful ground cover. I'm hoping that the eggplants will take on a little bit more growth before these actually start to really, really take off. But I popped in another eggplant. Right here is a green uh, bell pepper, a California wonder. Over here um, is some more uh, daffodils and the purple heart. Right here and right there, uh, slug or snail had a good time with that little one there, but that's okay. Um, this is the giant white chard. I popped in here uh, some parsley, which you see is right here. This is the one we transplanted from the other raised bed, and I popped it right here. Another California wonder. As we stroll along here, I popped in California wonder, parsley, another California wonder, and this tomato right here is the... Gilberti right here that I have in a tomato cage and hopefully that will do good. I did pop in a couple more plants that haven't came up yet and some radishes and things like that. Um, this pepper right here is a, a purple beauty. This right here is a yellow beet. Over here is another purple beauty. Another purple beauty. Um, right here and as well, I popped in a Jubilee tomato into this tomato cage. And uh, this is just going around the sand pit, you guys. Some more parsley. A California Wonder. As you can see, I have here some onions. These are second year onions. Uh, they look okay, you guys. I told you guys, not going to get a big old bulb, but you will get something, okay? You will definitely get something to cook with, okay? But these are second year onions, red and yellow. Over here is a California Wonder that is not doing good, but that's okay because I got plenty other plants to pop that one out and put something in. Here is a tender green spinach. I see a weed. I'm going to take that out of here. So just get down in there and pull it out. Okay. All right. So this is a spinach um, tender green right here. Uh, right here is some yellow chard, that little patch you see there, some more daffodils, uh, eggplant that's back here. Then I popped in here some glow, um, some golden beets right there and here. Um, over here is some radishes, little radishes. They're going to start to try to do something. I need to come out here and do a little bit of watering around because uh, it feels a little dry. But I'll definitely come and do that. I already watered some other stuff. Um, over here is another California Wonder. And this is a Japanese long uh, eggplant here. 
uh, parsley and then some more eggplant and a massive gigantic um, hosta now my hosta needs a little bit more shade I see that it is getting burnt uh, my apple tree last year had gave it a great deal of shade but my apple tree um, hasn't really pushed out like I thought it was going to this year um, because of the cold snap movie that we had but this is a Frankenstein apple tree um, that you see here this has multiple different varieties of apple on here this is a John of gold uh, an Akane apple uh, a Lode apple it's a um, apple delish up here as well um, what else is on here this is a yellow delish and a red delish is attached to this one graft tree that has five varieties of apples on it and see what i'm telling you guys some damage has happened but all in all we are starting we are definitely getting some apples i see apples all over so that's a great thing that we are coming in and getting some apples on to our tree but i did want to show you guys what is going on with the apples so I'm really happy that we definitely are going to have apples um, I will come back and try to see uh, what is going on with this uh, problem here I see that we're going to get some more new blossoms as well so hopefully everything will be all right with my apple tree and I'm gonna fertilize all my trees and I'm hoping that we can get a little bit more production a little bit more growth I'm looking forward to more growth on my trees now uh, so they can deal with some of the cold that we've been getting lately um, in the last couple of years. So hopefully that will help and um, encourage my trees to get just a little bit bigger. I don't want to get them too high because I still want to be able to harvest my fruit. But I hope you guys is really liking this video. This video is really just to kind of get you guys updated on some of the things that I've been doing. Um, and as well, I do have videos on how I go about planting uh, these as well. And I'm looking for my tag, you guys. <laughs> I'm looking for my tag. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, this is a uh, zucchini. This is a dark green skin zucchini. And then this one over here is the yellow crook neck. And then over here is a white scallop squash I popped in here some uh, peppers this is the giant Marconi's right here and then in this one here is the uh, yellow crook neck now I'm noticing here into the wheelbarrow my ginger is finally coming up you guys can see little little heads of it finally I see a weed poking way through I see right here as well i did just water because uh, it was so hard and dry but i'm seeing uh some of the ginger trying to come up um but this is what's going on inside the sand pit okay all of this here um is growing very well i do have to put some salt into the sand to kill um some of the weeds that are growing little fine weeds so I'm going to get some more salt to sprinkle down into this sand. Um, this right here is a this is a beautiful squash right here. This is the Rondonese. This is a pretty round uh, squash here. I really like this one. Um, and over here, which I have empty containers, I will be planting a couple more squash. I'm going to actually film me planting a couple more squash for you guys, for the ones who uh, are new to the channel. Okay, so here is, what is this one? This is a scallop yellow squash. It's really cool squash. I really like the scallop squash, but that's what we have going on in the sand pit um, area here. Um, everything is growing pretty nicely, but like I was saying, I'm hoping that the eggplant uh, put on a little bit more growth or the ground covers cover um, the area. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. If they do take off too fast, I'm just gonna trim them. I'll keep them low, just like this patch right here. I'll just keep it kind of low um, so that it'll give it some time for the peppers and the eggplant to take on some height. 
okay but i hope you guys enjoy the video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload a video and remember there's beauty in everyone's garden